Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a collective love reading. Um, please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect. Um, roles can be reversed. So what that means is this could be something that you're doing or something that's going on around you. This could be something that your person is doing or something that's going on around them. This could even be a family member or a friend that's going through this and you just happen to know about it. Um, if you need or want to get a reading that is tailored to your specific energy and, situ and situation, um, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first time clients who get their first reading with me. So definitely take advantage of that. All right, so let's see what's going on for the collective in love. What's going on for the collective in love, please, spirit? Okay, we got spider web entangled, strong and unseen. So somebody here is tangled or entangled in something that maybe you don't see. Okay, Grim Reaper ending shock, starting over. So this is going to be something that's going to shock you. I feel this could be an internet relationship as well either an internet relationship is coming to an end or somebody's doing something on the internet and when you find out about it the relationship is going to end but either way it's going to be a bit of a shock what else for the collective in love please collective in love we got magic mirror self-care reflecting inner work somebody here needs to do some shadow work seriously some deep self-reflection about what it is that they want, who do they want, um, what's important to them, what's a priority. And I feel like a situation is going to come to an end. And during this time when it's over or separated, because it, it could end, but it could also be just separation for a while. During that time, I feel like one or both parties are going to do a lot of self-reflection on the things I just said. What else, please? Or will need to do a lot of inner work. Yeah. We've got mystical journey, shaman in reverse. Um, okay. Somebody here thought that this was like a um, spiritual connection. And somebody here is realizing that it isn't. Or but think about this. All of, our, all of our connections are spiritual. We meet people, even friends and family, for a reason. We come into this life for a reason. Our family is our family for a reason. We meet friends or romantic partners for a reason. So there's always a lesson in something to be either be learned and or taught or both. So let's see. But somebody here feels like this is like someone also might feel like it's um, something isn't healing properly um, or it won't can't be healed. What else, please? Yeah, chakras, using your energy wisely. Somebody here is not going to be given any um, energy to the situation anymore. Why is there a spider web here? Where's unseen? Black Rose relationship. So there's a there's an internet relationship here that's not being seen. Someone is either talking to somebody from their past or someone is talking to an ex or um, talking to somebody. Um, I feel this person could be communicating that the relationship is over and trying to start a new relationship with them. But meanwhile, the relationship may not be over. But when you when you find this out, it will be. Why is it going to be? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces. Show me the Grim Reaper. Show me the Grim Reaper. Yeah, Haunted Forest, New Path, Bold Move. Some When you find this out, okay, or when your person finds this out, the, the, the person that Somebody here is meeting somebody online and wanting to start a new relationship with them after a breakup. There we go. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. But somebody here isn't ready for a true spiritual connection yet. Because they're not, they need to learn to use their energy wisely. Somebody here is not ready for a spiritual connection yet because they need to do more healing. But there is a new relationship here. Why is this magic mirror here? Yeah, Luna Moth, psychic uh, faith, psychic ability, and rest. Somebody here doesn't is in reverse. Somebody here doesn't um, trust the divine that that they will ever have a spiritual connection. But there is a new relationship here, an internet one, or there will be. Why is mystical journey in reverse? 
be careful that it doesn't throw you off. Someone needs to make a decision too about what it is they want or who they want. Um, I've re regarding an internet connection, I keep getting internet. Somebody here doesn't know what they want. So how can spirit bring you something that you don't even, you, you're not even sure about, that you have no faith. You have no faith in believing that this will come to you. So why would spirit bring it to you if you don't believe it? Somebody here also needs to rest and do inner work and some self-care. Someone's overdoing it. Just a little side message there. Someone definitely needs to review their choices and friends. Because there could, there could be a friend that's talking to somebody online that maybe you're dealing with. Wise, use your energy wisely. Intimate companion, familiar, in reverse. Somebody here is going to choose to not give energy to a relationship anymore. And this could be very life-altering here. Someone here needs to get a reading as well. I keep getting internet connection. Someone could also be surfing dating sites. Someone's either um, in a relationship and cheating by doing this, or somebody here is just looking for a relationship but and wanting a spiritual connection, but without having to do the work, the, the, the shadow work. Somebody here is not healed, not healed at all, and they're trying to get into a new relationship after possibly an ending in order to evade doing the being alone and doing the inner work. That's not going to work. You're going to get if you get into a relationship and you haven't done your healing, you're just going to hurt that person and yourself. So if you've been through a breakup, you need to take that time for yourself to do the inner work and the healing before you move on to the next relationship. Because if not, you're really going to hurt yourself and possibly someone else. Okay, so those are those messages. Let's look at your person. I keep getting this internet thing. Somebody's definitely doing something on the internet. Whether it's dating sites, relationship, like, you know, like Match.com or something. Not a paid promotion. Um, somebody's doing something with the internet. Or you maybe you get, you're getting on a new, maybe you went through a breakup and you're now wanting to get in a new relationship almost immediately without doing the shadow work but you're not going to get you're not going to get you haven't reflected on the lesson that you had from an ending of another relationship and then you get right into a new one you haven't given yourself enough time to self-reflect on the lesson about why things happened the way they did what was a, even if you got cheated on there's a lesson in it for you probably about self-worth and self-respect okay just that's just an example so, but if you're, if you're not taking the time to self-reflect on that lesson and you jump right into a new relationship, have you really learned the lesson? And the spirit, is spirit really going to bring you a, a spiritual connection? You see what I'm saying? One second. Actually, the spirit wants me to just look at you. They don't want me to look at the other person because I feel like this is you. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is on dating, who's went through a breakup, who is on the internet talking to people, dating sites, um, to meet new people when they're when they haven't given themselves enough time to do the healing work the inner shadow work and really understand the lesson that was in that about that last relationship they just want to jump right into a new one and it's not going to work in expecting it to be a spiritual i mean technically we all have spiritual connections with everybody that we have close bonds with whether by blood or by meeting um 
but somebody here wants like that twin flame shit relation that kind of relationship a twin flame type of relationship without doing the shadow work so you're just going to get into another karmic relationship if you don't all right show me the collective in love show me the collective in love show me the collective in love for others of you someone here is cheating um while in a relationship with you with somebody on the internet um, you got the five of wands in reverse here. You don't want any drama. You don't want any foolery. You don't want any drama here. But you haven't done the healing work. Show me the collective in love. Show me the collective in love, please. And what's going to happen? You're going to experience the tower. You got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Scorpio. If you don't do the shadow work, you're going to experience a tower in the very next relationship that you get into you've got to do the inner work you've got to give yourself some time to do a little bit of healing i mean eat just a little bit it doesn't have to be years and years of it but just a little bit give yourself some alone time with just your energy and do the shadow work do the deep dive do the subconscious work that needs to be done if not you're going to experience another tower you're going to experience another tower in a very in the very next relationship I think this is a single dude. Tell me more with the collective in love. I mean, I understand you don't want drama, right? Like, who who wants drama, right? You don't want competition. You don't want, you know, foolery. But you you haven't learned the lesson yet. There's another tower coming. If you get into another relationship before you've done some deep self-reflection, show me the collective in love, please. Collective. Ten of wands in reverse. You don't want any burdens here, but nine of cups in reverse. You're not going to get wish fulfillment because you haven't done your shadow work. You haven't done the shadow work. Yeah, high priestess in reverse. You're not listening to your higher self. You're not listening to your intuition. You're not listening to your intuition. Why is the five of wands here reverse for the collective? Why is the five of wands here in the reverse for the collective, please? Yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want people who ghost you. You don't want drama and all this other stuff, but you haven't learned the lesson about what it was from the last relationship. What is this tower about for the collective in love? Something isn't, yeah, something, you need to be fair with yourself. You need to be true and logical with yourself. It doesn't make logical sense if you just went through a breakup to immediately go back into another relationship, a different relationship. It doesn't make logical sense. It's illogical. You need to be honest and truthful with yourself and do, you know, do some of that, that, the you know, self, self-realization, self-actualization and some of that healing here and being very honest with yourself. Okay. Why you don't want any burdens here, but you. You're not, you're not going to get wish fulfillment if you go right into another relationship. You're not listening to your higher self. Your higher self and your intuition is telling you that you need to take a break. You need to, before you try to jump into another, yeah, you're not going to get wish fulfillment. Before you try to jump into another relationship, you need to take some time for yourself. I feel like there's someone who's newly single. Show me the Ten of Wands reverse, please. Yep, Five of Wands again. You don't, in the reverse, you don't want the drama. You don't want competition. All fine and well. But have you done the healing work yourself before you jump into a new relationship? Show me the Nine of Cups reverse. Because you're not going to get wish fulfillment. Yep, look. You need to, you, do, you don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. With the Nine of Cups reverse and the Hermit card, you don't want to be alone. I got somebody here who's afraid to be alone and they are, they have a fear of abandonment issues and you're just going to attract somebody. If you haven't dealt with your own shit, I'm telling you right now, you're just going to attract somebody to reflect back to you the wounds you haven't healed yet. Listen to that again. I'm going to say it one more time. Somebody here has a fear of abandonment. They, they don't want to be alone. They have to be in a relationship. They jump from relationship to relationship to relationship. 
if you don't do the shadow work, you're going to get with somebody who's going to reflect the unhealed wounds in you back to you. That's what's going to happen. Show me the High Priestess Reverse. You're not listening to your intuition. High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, let go. Okay. You need to listen to your intuition. You need to deal with your your upset, your emotions. Someone here is emotionally all over the place right now because they're hurt, because they went through something, a bad breakup or whatever. But what's happening here is that you want to immediately jump into a new relationship, but you're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest with yourself. And you're going to cause another tower moment for yourself. Somebody here is not learning their spiritual lesson about who they are. Someone, someone does not remember who the fuck they are, basically. And somebody here has a fear of abandonment. Someone here has a fear of being alone. And they would much rather be in any kind of relationship versus just healing and trusting the divine that your person is out there when you're, when you're ready. Somebody here is not ready for a true connection. No, not at all. Because why would spirit bring you something if you're just going to destroy it? Why is spirit going to bring you a blessing of a great relationship if you're just going to be toxic in it because you haven't done your shadow work and you're just going to destroy it? They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Show me the collective. And, okay. Yeah, you have secrets that you need to deal with within yourself about your past. You're very overprotective of yourself. You need to change the way you how you're the way you communicate. You need to not gossip about your relationship with other people. It will come. You will get a new beginning in time. But when you're okay with being yourself and being with your own energy, once you've made a change is when you will get the love of your life. You see what I'm saying? Anything else, please, for the collective in love? Yeah, short illness. Yeah, you might be going through depression right now and you're trying to fill that empty void in your life with, with another relationship. And it's not going to work like that. That's not how it works. What else, please? Yeah, thievery. You're, I'm telling you, you're going, you, maybe you feel depressed because someone cheated on you. You feel like they stole time from you. But what? But you chose to stay for as long as you did, right? Then there you go. Your lesson was in self-worth. Trust me, I've had to learn that lesson too. I'm still learning that lesson. Okay, so don't don't get it twisted there. I'm still learning that lesson. All right, let's see. Let me get you some love messages. Love messages for the collective, please. Love messages for the collective. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are crushing you. You need to not, and then you got honeymoon. You got enjoy the bliss and holiday time together. You just, somebody here just wants to be in a relationship. They have to be in a relationship because they cannot be alone. They don't know how to be in their own energy, and that's a red flag. You are the red flag. You're the red flag right now. I'm sorry, but you are. All right, let me see. Any other messages, please, for the collective? It's time to take action towards your healing. You need to, to do the work. You have to take action to heal yourself. You need to do the work. Now, if this card, the next, um, the guidance card, if it comes out in reverse, I will read it from this book, okay? Show me the collective. Any guidance for the collective, please? Any guidance for the collective regarding this reading? Guidance for the collective, please. Guidance for the collective. Crystals and herbs. Oh, what medicine, what sacredness to behold. A dash of healing straight from mother's home. You need to heal. You need to heal. You really need to heal. And then you can have a rebirth. But you have to do the healing work first in order to have that. You're not listening to your ancestors either. They're, they're trying to tell you, wait, we have something prepared for you. But first, you have to be ready for it. You're not ready yet. Somebody here is really not ready for some type of spiritual connection, like a, a true love connection. Either that could be you or, you know, it could be your person. I don't know. But I'm just saying collective here. But somebody here is not ready for that. And if it's not you and you feel like you're ready and it's maybe somebody else, 
you forcing them to take action to be in a spiritual connection with you is a red flag on your part because if somebody's not ready they're not ready and you're about to put yourself through a world of hurt trying to get with somebody who's not ready for commitment you know trust me i know i've been there too so you need to stop trying to raise these men and women let them be grown before you get with them don't raise them you know what i'm saying all right well that has been your collective love reading i hope that it helps you if this um you know if you need or want to get a reading that is tailored to your specific energy and situation please email me uh, uh my emails in the description box below i do give ten dollars off for first time clients to get a reading with me and as always i love you guys take care of yourself do the healing work and it will come i promise all right i love you